Hello everyone. We often struggle when we have to write the Fourier series expression for different waveforms and when we have to do some calculation. Whether it comes to subjects like signal or system or when it comes to subjects like power electronics, this is a common problem. Well, you know, this is not at all a problem because I am going to reveal the Fourier series expression of two particular cases that you have to practice and you will be able to do a lot of problems, specifically in power electronics and signal and system also. For example, suppose this kind of question is given to you. So this question came in electrical paper of 2020. What they have given is they have given a quasi square waveform and they are saying that this waveform is free from the third harmonic voltage, then what will be the ratio of fifth harmonic voltage with respect to the fundamental harmonic voltage? Well guys, you have to remember two Fourier series expression. One for the square wave. So if you have been given a perfect square wave, the expression is four times the magnitude upon n pi sin n omega naught t, where only odd harmonics will be existing and values will be 1, 3, 5 and so on. Similarly, another expression that you have to practice is for quasi square waveform. So if a quasi square waveform is given, the expression will change and it will become 4a upon n pi. You have to introduce cos of n theta in the previous expression of a square wave. So it will be 4a upon n pi cos n theta sin n omega naught t, where theta is the given angle, right? Theta can also be replaced by pi by 2 minus d and then it will give you a famous expression that we will be using for inverter cases and for many other cases also. So then the expression will become 4a upon n pi sin n pi by 2 sin n d sin n omega naught t and only odd harmonics will be there. Now, if the same waveform is given to us, now if we are going to apply the same expression in the given case, then you know what we are going to get. So third harmonic is, uh, it is the waveform is free from third harmonic. So when you will write the expression for third harmonic by putting n equals to three in the expression, and when you will equate it to zero, you will get the value of D and D is coming 60 degree. Now you can calculate the ratio of fifth harmonic with respect to fundamental harmonic by putting the n value five and one in the same expression and putting the value of D as 60 and calculating the ratio, you will get minus 20% as answer. So this is how by remembering two Fourier series expressions, you could have solved this problem and many more problems that have been the part of gate exam easily. Okay. So one might be coming in the upcoming exam also, and this trick is going to help you in solving that particular question. 